on any and all websites, there is one thing that you simply cannot do without, a web form, be it a simple blog, a large online store, or a bank website. Web forms and AMO CRM ensure that the entire lead capture process is fully automated. AMO CRM's web forms can be tailored precisely to suit your own needs in a simple to use constructor, so you don't actually need coding skills to make a web form and embed them on your website. So here's how it works. A visitor comes to your website, wants to request a service or a product or something similar and fills out the web form. The data is automatically processed and sent to your AMO CRM account to the incoming lead stage. If you use Google Analytics, you'll also get conversions there. So let's see what's inside a lead card. Here we can see all the information required to send in a request and it's right where we need it. And you can respond to the lead right here too. Moreover, you are actually able to communicate in multiple channels in the same lead card once they're connected to AMO CRM. Just click on the phone number and select the source. In our case, we need WhatsApp. To speed up the process even more, in AMO CRM you can create chat templates according to your needs. Here's how it works. I just start typing the name of the template and the system suggests a number of options. I choose the right template option and voila, its text appears. No need to type it every time. So, it all looks pretty simple and straightforward, doesn't it? That's just one web form embedded into your website. Why don't we try to set up one together? Ready? Oh, and by the way, this integration is a built-in feature available on all subscription plans, so you can always use it without any limits. Now, to get started, we need to do this. Go to the lead section and click on Setup. Go to the lead source and click on Add Source. Add a web form by choosing AMO CRM web form. Choose a form template. There are a variety of template designs available to find the perfect fit for your website. Let's take a look at one of the most basic web form styles. After choosing a template, you can customize it by clicking on Edit Fields, Form Settings and Form Placement. First section you enter is the Edit Field section. That's the design customization area. If you want it to be purple, just like Samuel L. Jackson's lightsaber, no problem. There's also an opportunity to choose themes, text layout, background, font color, and the fields your visitors will be filling out. Let's add the company name field from the company section and change the color of the submit button. Yeah, we like our web forms like we like our cars. In stock, clean configuration. Well, almost. To add a field, drag it and drop it from any of these sections. That would be leads, contacts, companies, and additional sections. Remember, the fields should match the way you want the system to read the data, so be sure to name them correctly. You don't want to put contact data into the company card, for instance. There's a contact card for that. To edit the submit button, just click on it. A small menu that allows you to edit its color, font, and location will appear just below it. If you need to customize your form according to your branding or any other requirements, AMO CRM allows you to do this by adding a CSS code. Click the Save button to save your form. Now for the form settings. In this tab, you can change the form name, add tags, choose the pipeline stage and where the form will place the lead and specify the after submission message. Let's change the name of the form to contact us form and assign the contact us tag to all the leads that will be created after filling out this form. You can customize the form so that it places new requests as proper leads at a certain stage of your pipeline. To do this, you must specify the lead stage under the form setting tab. There are two styles you can use to simply add a form or a button with the pop-up form. Let's show our form in a pop-up window. Click on the checkbox, change the name of the button and its color, let it be red today. This is how the button will look on your website. Once you click on it, you get a form to fill in. If you use Google Analytics for your website, then AMO CRM will allow you to send more information about your lead statuses to Google Analytics. Just click the checkbox in the settings form. The Google Analytics trigger will automatically be added to the closed one stage of the pipeline. This means when you move the lead to the closed one stage, information will be sent to Google Analytics as a sales conversion. The setup of data transfer in Google Analytics can only be applied for one status of each pipeline. To send the data from AMO CRM to Google Analytics, you need to create goals. For that, you need to 1. Go to Google Analytics and click New Goal. 
2. Select the template, make a payment. 3. Click on Continue. 4. Specify the name of the goal. 5. Choose Type Destination. 6. In the Goals Details section, specify the link Ammo CRM Payment. You should set the path of the goal that you expect to receive traffic from. In this case, we need to specify the path to the page with the form Ammo CRM Form. Click on Turn on Funnel. Then specify a name of the step, for example, submitted a form in the screen page. We're adding Ammo CRM Form. In Google Analytics, you can only set the links Ammo CRM Form and Ammo CRM Payment. If you change the links, the data will not be sent to Google Analytics. Once the lead fills out the form, you'll receive the detailed information about the lead in the lead card, such as country, city, number of clicks on your website, etc. To utilize and gather information with UTM tags, you must add them to your URL. UTM field values will be displayed in the corresponding non-editable fields within a lead card, as well as your Google Analytics website under Traffic Sources, All Traffic. And that's what you'll see in Google Analytics. Now, let's move the lead to the closed one stage. Amo CRM will send the data to Google Analytics in real time. Let's check the mark, fill in the form with user data, so that the data of the lead gets filled in automatically when submitting a form. And let's thank our lead for submitting the form. We can also check the mark, redirect after form submission, so that the lead will be forwarded to our Instagram page after form submission. After this, we enter the URL of our Instagram page and specify the time after submission to redirect our leads to our Instagram page. For us, it's two seconds. Here's how it works in action. Impressive, isn't it? There are several ways to place the form for lead capture by placing the forms code in the HTML code of your web page or by using the short code for WordPress. Let's customize the page a bit by changing the background image and position of the form and don't forget to save it. Alternatively, you can customize a special page with a form and copy the link to the form in order to insert it in your Instagram bio or to send it to the lead in WhatsApp or any other messenger. Finally, this is how the page looks. And that's all there really is to it. Now you know how to create web forms, add them to your website and receive leads in Ammo CRM. Good lead capture forms really do make a difference and for you it's now simpler and better thanks to analytics, customization and flexibility. No important detail will be lost ever again. Have fun using Ammo CRM and thanks for watching.